welcome back to my channel the mahogany edit my name is jamila if you're new here um so today i got some new makeup <laughs> and i thought it would be so fun to kind of like do a get ready with me and then show you guys the new products that i got just in case you were interested in getting something um so i think it'll be fun so stick around and we'll get right into that so um the very first thing that i like to do is prime my skin uh, my face is already clean and i have my skincare on so i'll be using the tatcha the liquid silk canvas The very first product that I got this brand new, I only got a few things, like maybe, like, I have like three new things. Um, I don't really buy makeup that often anymore because I don't really go anywhere anymore since the pandemic. We have been going out, but not as often. So I was very excited for this product because um, it is cruelty free and it's actually a CC cream, which is like a color correcting cream. Um, Derma Blend describes it um, as a weightless and breathable CC cream that gives a perfectly balanced and undetectable coverage without clogging pores or weighing down the skin. It is called their Continuous Correction Tone Evening CC Cream. It is a full coverage foundation. Oh my goodness. So I didn't realize that this was going to be full coverage. Because when you think of, well, when I think of CC cream, I don't really think of full coverage. I think of like skin. So this should be interesting to see what it looks like. I am in the shade 85N. So let's see what this looks like on. I'm just going to take it a little bit to start. And I've been really into using sponges again lately. I usually really only use brushes, but with more like skin, like, well, I'll say with more full coverage products, I've been using a sponge because I don't like it to be full coverage, if that makes sense. I like the most like skin like looking Especially for on like an everyday basis. But this is really pretty. It's, I mean, it's really pretty. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I just used the uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade number five. Okay, I'm just gonna take the pencil and just Oh no, <laughs> it's literally gone. Oh my goodness. Can you even see that? There's like no more. So instead I'm just gonna use what once said the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel <laughs> in the shade Ebony. And then I usually go in um, and shape them up um, to give myself like a little bit of definition, I guess you could say. I like to use the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer to clean up my brows. I think it's one of the best concealers I've ever used to clean up my brows. I'm just going to clean this up with my concealer brush. So now I'm going to be moving on to the second product that I got that's brand new and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. I got the shade Chestnut which is the second to last shade. Um, I'm really excited because I love cream products and so I'm just going to take it on the sides here where I like to bronze. Ooh. That's really pretty. Wow, that's super pretty. I'm gonna try to blend it out with the brush, with the contour brush. So 
I was afraid that it wasn't going to be dark enough for my skin. Because the last shade I think is like way too dark. Um, but this looks really pretty. You guys see the shade? It's so cute. So I'm just going to finish putting this on. Um, on all the places that I usually bronze or contour at. I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty Concealer, the Pro Filter Concealer, in the shade 420 to conceal under my eyes and to highlight a little bit. I think everything is looking so nice so far. Like, I'm really happy with it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna hurry up and set my under eye before they start creasing because that's why I have to do it immediately. <laughs> I'm going to take the Laura, Mer <laughs> the Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Setting Powder. I really like the original as well um, but I really have been liking this shade I like both I use both still so I just like to put a little bit down like that I don't like a whole lot because I don't like to bake I like it to just look really really skin like so I just kind of press it in Everything is just working together so nicely and I feel like I haven't been this happy with my makeup in a long time. Like I have products that I love but I don't know if it's just like me, if I'm just like not, um, haven't been feeling it lately or what, but this is gorgeous. So I'm going to apply some blush now i love blush it's like my favorite part so i have these two by elf these two colors right here i don't know i can never choose um this one i just got recently this is in the shade bali sorry it's really light <laughs> you can't really see it here um this is in the shade bali and this one is tahiti um which they're both adorable or I have these rare beauty blushes I have one in the shade nearly neutral which is like this pink this like kind of neutral pink <laughs> shade or I have you can't really see the, the true color like like at all there you go and then I have this one in the shade nearly apricot which this was my first one from her line as you can see she is well loved <laughs> i haven't worn nearly apricot in a long time and this was my favorite so i think maybe i'll do this one I'm going to bronze my nose because I forgot to do that. Um, so I'm just going to get this little tiny baby brush. I'm not the best at nose contour, you guys, so be nice to me.
I get that far and I'm like, I have to figure out how to blend it out. <laughs> It's okay for now. I'll okay. set my face. I'm gonna use the Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade 60 Deep. I'll take some blush and put it in my crease since I'm not gonna do the powder bronzer. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think I should put it on powder bronzer? don't really know how to blend properly <laughs> when eyeshadow and stuff like that. I'm not really good at it just yet. I have been practicing though. I think that's good. So um, I don't really wear eyeliner. I have, um, for one, I don't know how to use it properly. And for two, um, I tend that it, it, on me, it just tends to look a lot more heavier than what I would like. So I'll be taking this dark brown shade here in, oops, sorry, in the Artist Couture palette. Um, I'll be taking this shade as my eyeliner, um, just kind of smoking it out at the top. So next, I'm going to put on some lip gloss. Um, I have this Buxom lip gloss here in the shade Kristen. I'm going to set my face with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It has become one of my favorite setting sprays. It gives me what the MAC Fix Plus gives me but it lasts a lot longer and it I do believe it really does have like this blurring effect sorry really quickly I forgot to put on my blush I like to use um the color that I put on on the top of my eye at the bottom as well Now that I have set my face, I can put on my mascara. And so I'm just gonna be using my Benefit uh, Bad Gal Bang. This is like my favorite mascara right now. That is it, you guys. <laughs> Finally, we are at the end of this video. I didn't think it was gonna take this long. So let me know. Uh, what you think of everything, how everything looks. I really, really, really love how it came out. I do feel like if you're feeling down, if you're feeling um, not your best and you like to play in makeup, just go sit in front of the mirror, get some of your favorite items out and put it on your face, make yourself feel good. Even if it's just really temporary, right? A lot of times with anxiety, depression, um, we don't want to do anything, but I think that maybe forcing yourself sometimes is, is really helpful, even though sometimes that's impossible. But if you're at a point where you can get up and do a little bit of something to make yourself feel good, try it no matter what it is, whether it's putting on makeup or going outside for a walk or playing a game or reading a book. I really do think just by sitting here with you guys and showing you a couple of new things that I got, it really lifted my spirits, it heightened my mood. I feel like I look really pretty, so of course that always makes me feel good as well. So thank you so much uh, for joining me again here today at the Mahogany Edit where we are focused on all things lifestyle and personal and mental development. I hope that I will see the rest of you very, very soon. 
Um, as always, take care and I'll see you next time.